Hello, I am Dr. Nagaraj Pittaswamy. I am a laparoscopic and a bariatric surgeon at Punya Hospitals, Bangalore. Hepatitis B is a viral infection. See, we have uh, similar uh, viruses called Hepatitis A and Hepatitis C as well. But Hepatitis B is relatively unique when compared to Hepatitis A, which is more common. Hepatitis B, we see so many patients as carriers. I mean to say that they would be completely asymptomatic and then but still carry the virus within themselves. But uh, these people are prone to transfer the viruses to the next you know, generation. See, it is communicated by see, either sexual transfer or uh, by transfusing uh, infected blood from one person to another person or uh, using a contaminated uh, shaving blade uh, which is you know, shaven to one of the infected fellow and inducing some problems or some blood and blood products transfusion. This is how hepatitis B is transmitted. But uh, this is otherwise also called as infective hepatitis. So as it is uh, called infective hepatitis, the fulminant part of hepatitis B is very, very dangerous. So we see patients very critically ill when the patient is seen for the first time. The hepatitis B, uh, when it is actively infective, can present in the form of jaundice, fever, um, difficulty in uh, uh, having food, uh, indigestion, malaise, that is generalized body weakness and all this. Some patients uh, become sober, they get into a scenario where they will have to be managed in critical care, that is in the ICU. This is how the patient of hepatitis B presents. Over a period of time, if the infection is not well controlled and the patient is not well managed, the hepatitis B virus can be so aggressive, they can cause damage significantly to the liver cells and cause liver failure. So to you know, advert or avert this in a scenario, we need to aggressively manage hepatitis B when it is in a very infective state. So, or else uh, when the patient is uh, in a carrier state, we can still advise the patient uh, to be careful and not to be a, a process of uh, transferring the disorder to the next person.